Okay, before we start, there are two things I have to say. One, do not harass the person who ever made this article. And second, please be civil in the comments. Let's not start any drama. Are we good? Okay, good. Now on to the video. Hey guys, today I'm going to be responding to an article. Now, I actually wanted to respond to this article a year ago. In fact, I wanted to do it back in January of 2021. So why did I postpone it for so long? Well... Hello Kitty is not a cat, but a girl, without a voice. Sexism is so normalized that we don't even notice that this iconic female character doesn't have a mouth, the body part that would allow her to speak her mind. Yep, it's one of those articles. Honestly, I'm actually somewhat scared to respond to this because I feel like I'm poking a bear or something, but let's move on. She first starts out by talking about how she used to love Hello Kitty when she was younger and all that stuff. Then she segues into this. Once I aged into double digits, I forgot about Hello Kitty and didn't think about her again until the year 2000 when my friend decided to give the cat a mouth for her undergrad thesis. Hello Kitty doesn't have a mouth? I gasped. Certainly, as a girl I had received way more attention for looking cute than I had for speaking my mind, but how could I have gazed at her adorable face for so many years without noticing? So, let me get this straight. For the longest time, you didn't notice that Hello Kitty didn't have a mouth. And it wasn't until when you went to college, presumably when you were an adult, when someone pointed out to you that she does not have a mouth. Um... I noticed that Hello Kitty didn't have a mouth when I was little, and I wasn't even a Hello Kitty fan at the time. Practically everyone knows that Hello Kitty doesn't have a mouth, even young children. Like, I'm legitimately trying to wrap my head how the heck you could not notice her that she didn't have a mouth. Like, you just said you were a big Hello Kitty fan back in the day. Like, how did you not notice? I have no words, let's just move on before I have an aneurysm or something. In the last 40 years, Hello Kitty has generated billions of dollars for the Japanese company Sanrio, and today, it's plastered in more places than ever, on microwaves and toasters, cars and airplanes, even on sports paraphernalia for the Dodgers. No one knows how the famous cat feels about that, of course, because she can't talk and shows no emotion, which, as you might guess, makes me cringe. Why are you saying this like she's an actual person? You do realize she's a fictional cartoon cat, right? She also then goes on to talk about the Hello Kitty's Not a Cat rumor, which I already debunked twice. But to give a brief summary, the idea that Hello Kitty isn't a cat doesn't come from the creator, nor does it come from anyone working at Sanrio. The origin of this rumor actually began with an anthropologist, and said anthropologists didn't do anything Hello Kitty related other than writing a book about her. In fact, the LA Times, which was the first publication to report on this rumor, didn't do any fact checking. It's also worth pointing out that Sanrio has actually stated that Hello Kitty is an anthropomorphic cat. Really, the whole idea of Hello Kitty not being a cat is nothing but fake news. And it's also another case of the news media just chasing trends and not caring about the truth. Since this news broke, the outcry has exploded from the mainstream press to fans across social media. How can Hello Kitty be a girl? Girls don't have whiskers. They yell. Yet, I haven't seen anyone shout, how could she be a girl? Girls have mouths. Girls also don't have cat ears or cat tails, what's your point? Then she goes on to talk about a bunch of stuff that doesn't really have to do with Hello Kitty, so I'm just gonna skip it. The expectation, as represented by Hello Kitty, is that women are docile, quiet, and cute creatures to be looked at and not heard. No, 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 and no. First and foremost, the creator of Hello Kitty said that the reason why Hello Kitty doesn't have a mouth is so people can interpret their emotions onto the character. Second, Hello Kitty is anything but silent and docile. Kitty is a very outgoing person, and she loves to meet new friends. She's even willing to make friends with complete strangers. Nah, 
なそうともいい人か悪い人かちゃんと見分けねえといけねえんだ大丈夫よそうかなその時はいい人だと思っても後になって悪い人だったと分かった時はもう取り返しがつかないことだってあるんだよ Now imagine if a billion dollar company targeted boys with toy soldiers or baseball players that didn't have mouths. Can you even picture it? Does she realize that Pacheco is a thing? Why do I even bother? It's clear that she didn't do any research. Now, why did I make this response video? Honestly, I just thought it'd be fun to debunk this article because it is so absurd. Thanks for watching and I hope you have an awesome day.